Hey everyone, in this FC24 Squad Selector Explained Ultimate Team video, I want to walk through what a Squad Selector is and why you may want to use it. To see the Squad Selector, you need to be in the Club View first. So on the Root menu, right button over to Club or R1 on the PlayStation. Select it with A or X on the PlayStation. And then in here, jump into Squad. So A again, or X. And once you're in the Squad View, you can access the Squad Selector on the left-hand side with your left stick button or whatever button it shows to the left of Squad Actions just underneath the Liverpool logo there. So when you're in here, you've got this area called Squad Selector. And if we select that one with A down the bottom left-hand side for a different button on other platforms, but X on the PlayStation, you'll jump into this area and you've got My Squads and also Concept Squads, okay? So these two things here, which I'm moving between LB and RB. So we'll talk about the two areas and explain why you may want one or the other. So I have two squads available here. I've got the FC active one. I've also got one called loan. So what are they and why might I want to use them? First of all, if you have multiple ones, you want to look at the other squad, you could simply move down to it with the left stick or your D-pad and select the squad down the bottom A to select the squad. So you'll see now that my squad will flick to this one, which is largely loan players. And you're like, why would you want a loan player squad? The reason is you may want to use this squad in friendlies. So if you create this as the squad, then go into friendlies, you can use these players without their contract number going down. So what I suggest you always do with loan players, leave them with one game left, transfer them out of your main squad. Don't use them competitively anymore, but do use them in friendlies. So that's an option. So you can see we're missing a left back here. I haven't finished building this one. So I would select it and then right button over to here and then I would pick someone. So let's go with another loan player, Gaia, and in he goes. So there's that squad there. So how do I create a new squad and why may I want to do that? So let's go back to the left stick button, talk about that. So we'll go back to squad selector and we'll create a new squad, okay? So here you can either start from scratch or use a squad builder. And depending on what you want to do may be why you may want to use either version. I'm gonna show you the squad builder because squad start from scratch is quite obvious. I'll show you that quickly at the end. But let's say we want to create a squad of silver players. So sometimes you may see an objective that says you need to play games using silver players or whatever. So let's just say we need a silver squad. So we'll go to done. So we then have this page and the squad builder is quite nice because you can go, well, what quality players do you want? So you can say any or you can go to silver and I could say whether I want to narrow down to any particular region or league or formation and then I can say right away you go so I'm going to say I'm fine with that I just want a 442 just silver build me something what the squad builder then does is tries to build the best team it can with those players so you can see here it's gone right I can build all of this for you but I am missing a goalkeeper uh, and I'm missing a left midfielder and a left back so if you decided you needed a complete squad, from here you could select it with A, left button over to the transfer market and go change the quality to silver. And we could go silver common, for example, search uh, with Y triangle on the PlayStation, and then we could buy a player here. What I suggest you do here is narrow down to the sort of player that you want and then do another search. I'll show that in a separate video on how to get them cheaper. So have a little look at my how to buy players video if you need help with that. But my point is that's how you could fill that in for silver players okay so if we go back to that squad actions again go to the squad selector one more time and let's create a new squad and i'll just show you it without using the squad builder so we'll start from scratch and we'll just go i don't know we're interested in brazil so sometimes you may need to build a squad with some brazil players in or whatever it doesn't matter so if I want to manually add players, I can either uh, select an area like here and right button or R1 over to club and pick a player. So let's say, you know, we just wanted to chuck anyone in. So a strong rated player here, sure. But we need to make sure we have some Brazil players. Maybe I'll go to right button and don't pick anywhere at the minute. I just want to see what Brazil players I've got. So down the bottom, Y to search, change, whoops, not position, change the country to Brazil. So I've moved over to their A or X on the PlayStation, changed the country. Now I hit search. This will show me everyone in my club who is Brazilian. So I could go, oh, okay, so I've got like a center back there, Carlos. So I could select them with a left button or L1 over here and say, right, I'll chuck them in here. Um, so I can build it up that way, but you can see the squad build is probably a faster way of doing it. Even though you're in this area, you can always go squad actions, go squad builder. Do you know what? I can't be bothered. You Let's go to the country, whoops pick Brazil, 
build me a squad man and then it'll do that for you automatically and we'll see what we've got so in this case i'm just missing a right midfielder but i've got quite a lot of brazil players there and you can see chemistry because we've put so many brazilians in there it's pretty good um so that's an option there i think i'd left Shaw in the team which is why he's still sitting there and not a brazilian so um you know if we if we just remove him so we go actions uh where is it center my club and now if i run that squad builder once more and i set the country region again hopefully i'll find a second striker but maybe it won't no i haven't got one so uh hopefully that explains why you may want to use it and how to use it i don't think there's really much else i want to cover about it apart from if we go to the squad builder again or sorry the squad selector you are free to delete any of these if you want or i think you can copy them as well yeah so if you go do you know i really like my main squad i'm quite happy with that but i want to tinker with it but not break it so you could do that so i could go here and down the side there you see you've got copy squad so the menu button and then you can see it automatically puts copy in, which is nice. So I'll go there. And then I've got this new one that I can mess with. Um, you can also rename a squad. So if you go, actually, that's rubbish. I want to rename it something else. I could hit X to rename it. So down the bottom was the info there. So I could call it whatever. I don't know. I could have cleared it with the right stick button. Actually, that would have made more sense. Um, I'm sure you're better at this than me, but we could just say, uh, let's just call this one main, just for example just so you can see that you know you can juggle around with these different ways so that's now called main um, and we've got these two ones here and if there's a squad that you don't want you can delete those as well so delete down the bottom uh, why delete squad now uh, right button and over you can also see there's this thing that says concept squads so I'll just cover this quickly before we finish so you can create a new concept squad start from scratch and just call this concept or whatever you want and what this is for is planning purposes okay so you will not own these players but if you're thinking of testing some ideas out you want to see how the chemistry works or you know what your dream team is you then come in here and go add player or search so you can just say search for example let's say we want let's say we want i don't know let's say we want messy 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 so we just start typing right and we see there he is we go that's who i want okay so we will now select messi we'll search and uh actually what i need to do is i need to change concept players to on okay so there's messi we select him with a move left to the squad and then select him there so you can see we've now got messi in the squad there but if you want to see sort of chemistry on you know how that would work well with another player you could search and decide who you want to try and put him alongside so let's say we want i don't know let's say harland there's harland concept players on search there he is and then we could put him side by side there and you can see you know actually i own a loan of harland that's why it's overridden it so we've got one in your team so we'll <laughs> we'll go there but we could do the same thing with the center mid here uh, let's search and we'll go i don't know i'm gonna go with the both if i can remember how to spell it there he is so we'll select the Bosley, pop him in. And there you can see, you know, we're building him up, but it's saying, well, he's a CAM, not a CM. So that's why he's not happy to be put in that position. So we may need to then think, oh, actually for this to work, I need to adjust the formation. So I go squad action formation, and then look for a formation with a CAM like that one maybe, and say, yeah. And this is why this might be quite useful because, you know, you start thinking about, you know, what's, what are the dream players you want? And in this case, maybe we now still need, you know, we, we want the CAM, but we want two strikers still. So actually that one. So we'll go with that and back out there and then move these around. So we'd put uh, this one here and we'd say this one here. And, you know, you, you keep going until you've built like your dream team. And then some, uh, gradually over time, you try and add players you know, we try and sign Messi and this one and that one and try and work towards a complete squad. So whilst you can't play with this squad, you can start seeing, would there be any chemistry between these players? Hell no here. So, you, <laughs> you know, you could go, oh, well, maybe we get a bit of chemistry with, say, an Argentinian player. So we clear this and we go, right, who's, who's from Argentina? Whose quality of, I don't know, gold rare? 
and then we can see these so we could say okay maybe Martinez would be good to check up chuck up front so we select him there and say override Haaland so we've got the chemistry there and then maybe we do the same with Sabozla and go actually we want to stick with Argentina uh, and we'll go position and we go CAM so I'll go with Almada And I can start seeing, you know, what the links are. So you can see MLS, MLS there. So there's a bit more of a chemistry look in there. So I could go, actually, okay, so have we got anyone else that we could use, you know? So that's concept squads hopefully cleared up as well. So if we go back to it and then go to the selector and we go back to my squads and chuck my squad back on there. Hopefully that gives you an idea of why you may use the squad selector, how it works. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. If it was useful, give us a thumbs up, please. Much appreciated. Any comments or questions on the video, do let me know. That'd be awesome. Yeah, or, you know, whether you thought it was a good video, bad video, questions about it, whether you want to tell me about FC24 or your day in general. Anything that lets YouTube know that you found the video engaging. So thanks for doing that. Uh, also, I'll put up a playlist at the end of here with loads of FC24 tutorials on it. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, I'm always adding more content, not just on FC24, but many other games too. Like the minute, I'm currently working on Madden 24, Starfield, NBA 2K24. Loads of stuff to see. Thanks for watching.